get these shortcuts in your life and start saving time. This enables you to be creative in real time. You have your video up and you're just editing along. We click the razor tool, we click here, then you click the selection tool, you select the clip you don't want, hit delete. Either you drag it over like this or select the gap and press delete. Same thing in DaVinci. Where is it? Here and then here. And then we click this and we click this and we hit delete and then we hit that and we hit delete. And then that's your life. That's your editing life. That's your workflow. This is what you think editing is. This is not editing. If you're editing like this, you're wasting your life. This is not the way. Let me show you the way. This is the way. So we start here. Here is rubbish. Done. What was that? That was the letter Q. This takes you from wherever you are to the previous cut. Everything gets pushed across. I've got the same thing set up in DaVinci and I press Q. All right, this is the way I do things. We don't want this hand to be moving. We want this hand to remain on the left half of your keyboard and just rest there. We have Q, W, one, two, three, four. I use two and three to zoom in and out instead of going over to plus and minus and premiere. That helps me go in and out like this. Very nice. One zooms it out all the way to the whole timeline. Same in Premiere. One zooms out all the way to the timeline. You hit one to go out, you go somewhere else, you hit one again, and you're back into where you used to be. It's like a zoom toggle. But yeah, two and three, it brings me in and out and it centers my playhead. Cuatro cu w. Four cuts anywhere you are. Bang. Cut done. Cut. And this happens while you're playing. Perhaps I've done a good take, I like what I've done. Couple that with Q, I hit four as it was playing, right as it arrived at the next thing I'm gonna say, and I do, just press Q, everything deleted, everything pushed back, gap gone, no clicks, just keyboard. And the only thing you should be using your mouse for is this playhead. And without even letting go, I can press four here, and then Q. Da Vinci, same thing. Four, Q. Four, Q. It's not just Q, it's W as well. So maybe I'm like, I like this here, but I don't like all of this. So I press W and this goes to the next cut. So Q is to the previous cut, W is to the next cut. So once again, look, all of this rubbish, Q. Maybe I like this, I don't like the rest of it, W. My hand lives right here. I've got one, two, three, four, Q, W. Can you see the upgrades that your life has just been given? Time to make it yours. So how do we set this up? Let's see how it works in Premiere. It's all here, it's all here. Q and W are in there by default. These are set as default. So anyone who's using Premiere, you can just try this out immediately. Add edit is great because it cuts wherever you are. So you just type in add edit. This is by default set to control K, I believe. I just to to four. So hand is just here. This hand is chilling, it's relaxed. But what about DaVinci Resolve? Q here, start to playhead. It's in the trim section, ripple, start, or you can just search for it here. Start to playhead. End to playhead is what W is. Once again, you can just search for that end to playhead and then assign it that way. One is zoom to fit, two is zoom out, three is zoom in and four is razor. Razor will just cut anywhere you are. This is how I have managed to make editing almost second nature. You're not thinking about where are things. This is the most fluid, taking out as many steps as possible so that you can just focus on whatever story you're crafting. One more thing. A just selects everything to the right. You can just click there, 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 that kind of thing. So it selects everything to the right and then you can just hold and click and move everything at once. So that's really handy. And then in DaVinci, A is select clip forward on all tracks. It doesn't have a shortcut traditionally, or it might have, I might have replaced it. You press A, everything where you are and forward gets selected. And if you do shift A, if you had multiple video tracks, shift A selects only the current track that you're on. If I hold shift in Premiere, it's a very clear visual that I'm only gonna select this track or this track or this track. This is so cool because when I edit my videos, maybe I finish this section, looks great. Now I'm gonna go here, A, and move everything over. Everything is moved. It's not just this clip that's moved and now like eaten into the next one. Same thing, you wanna move it all back, everything moves back. You don't have to zoom out, highlight everything, move it, no. Mate, you ain't got time for that. Nobody has time for that. Premiere, same thing. Just move everything at once. Stay at your small zoom level and just move everything at once. Let's see what we can do with these new keys. You've shot a bunch of clips and you're trying to get the best parts of each. So let's play it through. I'm looking at this boy here. At the moment he's about to start the action, I press Q. That deletes everything up to that point. And then he's just as he finishes it, I'm happy with that. So now I press W and then all of the rest of it is gone. Perfect. Now this one, let's find a good moment here. That's pretty good. Let's press Q. Press W to then finish it, finding a stable point in this. Just when it shakes again, just before it shakes again, W there and Q. I'm editing this so easily. Let's get it ended just before people walk in. W and then it's done. The clip is over. I hope this helps you. I hope you can set these shortcuts and see the light and start editing way faster than you were.
currently. Let's try that again. 